welcome to this video covering uh, markup in the new Enhanced GC Preview product. Uh, the markup is found in the same dialog as the dimensioning. Uh, there is a separate video for dimensioning on our website, so please check that out. Um, moving into the dimensioning or the markup uh, option, um, if we have multiple layers, we can only create markup information on a single layer. So if we have multiple layers in edit, as can be seen here, uh, you'll be prompted uh, to define which of those layers you would like the markup information to appear on. So let's do the new layer here and click OK and simply go to the add markup option. You see the options are identical to the, the dimensioning. So we'll just drop straight into the markup. First of all, it just says pick the markup point. So that's any point in, in, the, uh, in the space where you would like to highlight some information. So let's say for sake of argument, I want to highlight that this pad here, uh, I'll click that and you can see that my arrow um, is generated at whatever point I've clicked. Um, and then when I click my second point, that's the point to start defining the text. And then, I don't know if you can see, but it says there simply type text. So as I start to type, I can add the information that I want to uh, add there or mark up for, for other customers, um, just simply type what I'm looking to add. Similarly to the deletion, um, markup information can be deleted. Uh, you can just select the information you want. And as covered in the other video, even if you've got some other information on your other Gerber layer, edit and delete, it will only delete the markup information add as many pieces of markup information as you want and then save that information into the GWK uh, and where it will be passed along along with your uh, Gerber information to any other user who needs to view that information. Okay, once again, thanks for your time. If you've got any further questions, please contact support at graphicode.com.